Henry Herbert Dow was an American chemical industrialist. He was born on February 26, 1886 in Belleville, Canada. When he was six weeks old, his family moved to Derby, Connecticut, but he grew up mostly in Cleveland, Ohio. Dow was a precious child. He often helping his father with mechanical problems and inventing an incubator for chicken eggs before he was 12. Several years later, he and his father invented a small steam turbine, which the United States Navy used for many years in torpedo propulsion. He attended Case School of Applied Science, which is now Case Western Reserve University. He discovered the process of how to extract bromine. Herbert Henry Dow invented a method of bromine extraction that became known as the Dow process. Using electrolysis to successfully oxidize bromide to bromine, Dow was not content with simply improving the bromine extraction process, but wanted to expand his research of electrolysis to yield other chemicals. He founded the Dow Chemical Company. He was one of the creators of the modern American chemical industry. He discovered his most of his discoveries in 1889 till 1930. With his new company and technology, Dow was able to produce bromine very cheaply and began selling it for uni in the United States for 36 cents per pound. At the time, the government supported German bromine cartel. Brunkovich had a near monopoly on the supply of bromine, which they sold for 49 cents per pound. Herbert Henry Dow's inventions improved the quality of life for millions around the world. Following his graduation from Case, Dow worked for a a year as a chemical professor at the Huron Street Hospital College in Cleveland, still continuing his research in the extraction of chemicals from the brine. He, after he went bankrupt in 1890, he organized the Midland Com Chemical Company. There he oxidized the brine to electrolysis using electricity supplied by a second-hand 15-volt generator. Dow was able to invent such things as electric light carbines, steam and internal combustion engines, automatic furnace controls, and water seals through most of his inventions. After a considerable struggle and yet another business recognition to form, he again succeeded with a new process, the first of many successful disqualifications and several business recognitions. By the time of his death in October 15, 1930, from paralysis of the liver, Dow had personally received over 90 patents, including the Perkin Medal he received in 1930.